headed north to Mendocino National Forest without a real plan. We stopped at Upper Lake, California at the Forest Service Station and got some maps of the Mendocino National Forest. We drove a few miles north and camped at the Middle Creek Campground. Here you can access miles of OHV trails for motorcycles. The first thing to go up when we reach camp is always the privacy shelter. I got this one from Cabela's and it's our first time trying it out. With camp all set up, it was time to eat. We do a lot of meal prep, so dinner is quick and easy. Nothing extra. Tonight's a fresh salad and some stir fry with brown rice. After dinner, I looked at the map and my wife started a campfire. We settled in for the evening with a beautiful sunset. Next morning, a quick breakfast of oatmeal and coffee, and we headed out on the M1 Elk Mountain Road to Lake Pillsbury. We travel with our Wrangler Willys Eco Diesel and our Accenture XV3 off-road trailer. The M1 is a good fire road, but pretty bumpy, so I decided to air down. All along the road you see evidence of fires they've had in the Mendocino. Thankfully there's some green growth growing as well. You definitely want to stop at the Soda Creek store. Up ahead is Lake Pillsbury, with several campgrounds around the edge of the lake. The campgrounds are first come, first serve. Sunset Campground has a lot of nice sights and it also has a boat launch. A little northeast of Lake Pillsbury, the M1 turns into the M1 Backcountry Discovery Trail. More burnt trees and beautiful views of the lake as we climb. We let the Forest Service fire truck pass us. The road climbs rapidly and is quite steep. After a few miles, we stopped and flew the drone and got some great views of the lake and the surrounding terrain. The Jeep in four-wheel drive, the Eco Diesel motor, has absolutely no trouble hauling our X-Venture XP3 trailer up the hills. We 
gained a lot of elevation from where we started at the lake. We tried to stop frequently to enjoy the views of the lake and the surrounding countryside. After several miles and some terrain changes, we reached the Yuki Wilderness. This is a backpacker's paradise. A lot of Forest Service roads intersect the M1 with endless opportunities for exploration. After a lot of bumpy gravel road, we finally reached the Grizzly Flats dispersed camping area. We met a ranger at Grizzly Flats that was doing an assessment of all the damage caused by falling trees, and he issued us a fire permit. Even with the fire damaged trees and all the bugs that came out at night, I have to say that Grizzly Flats is one of the most beautiful campsites we've ever had. Again, when we reach camp, the first thing up is the Cabela's Privacy Shelter. And it's also the last thing to come down when we leave. We've been using this Auto Home Magiolina Extreme rooftop tent for well over a year now and it's really done so well uh, so easy and quick to go up and so great in the wind We have our little Xventure XV3 trailer we tow around everywhere we go and it basically goes everywhere the Jeep goes. I feel really lucky to have such a great camp set up. Got a chance to use the fire pit for the first time. I stuffed it into the existing fire ring to catch any sparks that might fall out the bottom. Next morning we break down our camp and pack everything up in the trailer and head to Eel River Camp. You can see how badly burnt some of the trees are, but it was still a beautiful camp. I've been making videos on our trips for about six months now. It'd be great to have you subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more. on the long trip down the hill to Eel River Camp. It was almost 100 degrees at 10 in the morning at Eel River Camp. We had planned on camping, but because of the temperature, we decided to head on home. Our first trip to the Mendocino National Forest was brief, but exciting and fun and awe-inspiring. Thank you for watching.